Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the absence and today I'm here with my friend Arianna who dances salsa and she wanted a makeup for her night out. So as a base I decided to mix the face and body by MAC with the skin base in La Masca because I find the skin base is very heavy foundation so I always mix it with something a bit lighter. In this case it's the face and body. So I blend the foundation into the I'm using a Real Techniques Stippling brush and now I'm going to the brows which I'm gonna fill in with the MAC uh, pencil in the color brunette and Ariana always um, tell me off when I do her brows because she almost doesn't have any and I always fill them up too much for her so we're trying to find a midway As a primer for the eyes, I'm gonna use the Prolong Wear Paint Pot by MAC in the color Let's Skate, which is one of my favorite. Really light, it really brightens up the eyes and is a really shimmery, nice pinky color. I'm now curling the lashes so they're gonna be ready for when we're gonna apply some mascara. And I'm gonna take a matte white eyeshadow with a um, soft blending brush and I'm gonna apply to the eyelid, blending it up. I now use this Makeup Forever eyeshadow in number 67 and always with a soft blending brush I'm going to apply it in the end of the eye, so in the outside corner, and I'm just going to blend it inwards into the crease. I'm gonna use a purple shimmery pencil, this is one from Bourgeois, in the inner waterline and a little bit under as well, just in the outside corner. I'm gonna blend the pencil in the outside corner with a bullet brush, just to soften it. I'm going to apply this other Makeup Forever eyeshadow in number 58, which is always matte, always with the same brush, like soft blending brush. We are applying it on the outside corner and then we're blending it into the crease until the inner corner. shadow also under in the outside corner. To intensify the makeup we're gonna take a matte black eyeshadow always with a blending brush and we start from the outside corner blending it inside into the crease. Really the key is blending of this makeup so use a very soft blending brush and don't be tired of blending. Highlighter, I'm gonna take a matte beige eyeshadow and I'm gonna apply it under the brows. To make Ariana's eyes 
really sparkle under the salsa lights. I'm gonna apply some MAC pigments in the color rose, which are these beautiful shimmery pigments between rose and gold. Now I take the shadow of before and I'm intensifying the outside corner, always with a soft brush. And it's time for eyeliner. We are gonna use the Black Track by MAC and a very fine brush. I always start from the outside corner, bringing the line into the inside corner and then we do the end, we do the flick and we drag it backwards. use some pigments by Ben Nye in the color Iced Gold but if you have something like vanilla from MAC it would be the same and we're gonna put it into the inner corner of the eyes just to give some light. Now it's time for mascara and I apply some mascara on top and bottom lashes. I'm using Great Lashes by Maybelline. So after all the mess we did on the eyes, it's time to clean up and I'm gonna use the Studio Finish Concealer uh, from MAC in number NT20. I'm using a buffing brush so I'm really gonna buff the product under the eyes and I'm just gonna bring it a bit on the cheeks as well in a triangle shape. And this is the madness of my uh, friends who I live with. <laughs> um, now I'm gonna apply some uh, fake eyelashes. These are from uh, Red Cherry. Now we finished, we're gonna set everything in place with the um, loose powder by NYC. And now it's time to contour. I'm gonna use a slick palette in the color medium and we're gonna give some contour to the face. So I start from uh, the upper part of the cheeks. So I apply with bound brush and then blending it upwards into the temples. I'm gonna take one from Ben Nye in the color Victorian Rose and very lightly I'm gonna apply it to the center of the and the apples of the cheeks and just blending it upwards together with the bronzer. This is still my crazy friends <laughs> and as a highlighter now I'm gonna take Soft and Gentle by MAC in the Mineralized Skin Finish range and I'm gonna apply it on the top of the cheeks to really bring the cheek out. So you can see under the light, now she turns, the difference from before and after, it really make your cheeks pop out, especially under the light. Right, when the craziness is finished, I'm gonna do the lips. I'm using a Makeup Forever uh, Aqua Pencil, which is waterproof, so it's gonna last longer and I'm just gonna um, define the shape of Ariana's uh, lips. I'm now gonna apply a Makeup Forever lipstick in the color Matte 5. To make the lips even more precise, I'm gonna use some concealer, which is the same I use under the eyes, so it's the MAC Studio Finish NC20, on an angled brush, and I'm really gonna clean all the edges of the lips and make them nice and uh, clean. Don't 
So this was Ariana in the beginning when we started the transformation and this is Ariana after. Uh, I hope you like the makeup. As always, if you do, don't forget to share the video or just give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you to the next one. Thank you for watching.